What's happening guys? Welcome back. Um, this is kind of a late in the evening one. I'm kind of in a rush. But I want to try to cover some of these saws. I've had some customers ask about them, what they, what I thought, if I'd seen them, yada, yada, yada. Um, I want to give a thanks to uh, my local Husqvarna rep. Um, I appreciate you for uh, loaning these saws to test out for my customers and give me my, and give my two cents on them. It's later in the evening, so the lighting's not great. I apologize, but this has been too hot. I'm on shirt number three today that I changed. So it's just miserably hot. But anyway, so we have the new 540 XP Mark III. We'll be testing that one. That uh, took place with the XP Mark II, or XP II. This little beauty is Husqvarna's new Power Axe. Feels good, I'm pretty pumped about giving it a whirl. Um, yeah, seems to be pretty good. Cool. Got the charger here that goes with it. <coughs> and it looks like we got a ginormous battery. This looks like the BLI 200 and the BLI 300. All green. Test it there, it shows you the green is good. Give you an idea how many bars you've got. Um, we also got the 540 XP Mark III. This is the Arbor version of the other gas saw. So we got two gas saws, two battery saws. This is the top handle version, I, I guess, from my version of the 540, but this is a battery saw. I think you can use any of the batteries. So that's our lineup for today. Um, first things first, bug spray. Um, cows, yeah, good bug spray. These are bad. Anyhow, so I think what I'm going to start off with, <coughs> excuse me, for the sake of time, is uh, the battery saws because I kind of got an idea how the, the, the gas saws run. A lot of you guys want to know how the battery saw runs. So I'm going to take and put you over here um, on the on the log here. Or anyway, close enough where you can kind of see what's going on. <clears throat> the mosquitoes are terrible. All right, this is, I'm going to try to make it as short so it don't lose people's attention span, but, you know, it's, it's hard to kind of cover the basics and be somewhat thorough. First off, we're going to do the power axe. Again, this is the power axe. It's super light without the battery, but I'm curious to see with the battery how heavy of a beast this thing's going to be. It goes inside, snaps in, pretty easy. Shows your level there, yada, yada, yada. Let's make sure we got some bar oil in here. Pretty sure we do, yep. Looks like the chain is, looks like it's running a uh, 3 8 050 gauge, 18 inch um, chain. Looks to be a safety chain of some sort. You got your power button on the top. Um, I'm gonna pause you for a second here. Something's not right with this thing. Okay, sorry, we're back here. Okay, so your power, this button here, I guess, is your turbo boost mode, whatever. It's weird this handle, you have to push down and up down and up to get it to release. It's kind of strange. It's not your traditional chainsaw thing. Nice though, because I mean, it's not loud. That's smooth. This will be a good 
saw for someone that uh, had a hard time cranking the saw. Um, that was in your standard mode. <coughs> Excuse me, this older pine. This is in turbo mode or, or super mode. speed demon but you know it's a battery saw I like it it's quiet do one more on super mode I don't want to use up all this still got four bars on the battery <coughs> the handles weird you got to push down on it it's hard to get used to it. very smooth keeps running once you let go of the trigger um that'd be like a safety kind of thing anyway um there it is power axe 350i running the bl300 battery um first impressions i like it to be a battery saw and as a saw builder battery powered equipment don't make me any money so um you know i really like it it's got the quick tensioner on the back and the quick uh chain Thing. I'm not sure what Husqvarna calls it. Probably something crazy like they normally um, normally call stuff. So we're gonna, we're gonna set the power axe over here. <coughs> okay. The next one I'm going to do is the, the Husqvarna 540i XP. This is also with the BLI 300 battery. So you got a... Here's your weird handle. You got to kind of push forward and down. It's different. Um, on and off. Um, <coughs> I guess the caution there is to let you know that light blinks when your your handlebar is locked. It's good so you don't try to you know burn something up. I'm not sure what this is. I guess boost mode. I'm assuming if it's similar to the other one. I think some zippy. Oh no, that's I guess economy. E is economy. Well, nobody wants to run economy because that's just not cool. Um, let me check the bar real quick on this one. Just make sure we're good. Yep, almost full. All right. So anyway, 540i uh, XP <coughs> top handle arbor. It's got the loop here for your climbing guys. Kind of cool. A little back heavy. We'll see how it goes. Sounds sounds pretty mean. Yeah, it's definitely got a little pep. It sounds a little peppier than the Power X. So this is E, I guess, I don't know, maybe economy or light mode. This is pine. It's older pine, so it's pretty hard. So we'll see how it does on this one. Yeah, not. Seems fairly sharp. All right. I just don't think it have much grab to it. Um, let me switch sides. Maybe that'll make a difference. Alright, let's get out of E because E's, E's for pansy.
somebody must have thought it's wrong. So I got it from the from the rep. But anyway, yeah, so I like that mode. It chewed through some battery pretty quick on there. See if it's uh, no, it's still off four bars on the battery. All right. So that's the battery saws. I tell you, this little top panel is pretty impressive. Um, <coughs> I think the chain was sharpened. Um, and granted, I'm cutting a ginormous piece of pine. I mean, this is not your typical limb. Most people would use a top handle saw on unless you were in a pinch already up the tree doing some type of crane work and just happened to be in that position within that time. But yes, it's pretty hard pine. It's not super, uh, super soft. All right. And the next one is going to be the 540 XP slam out of gas. Well, while we're on the Husqvarna kick here. This is one of those fancy dandy Husqvarna cans. I really like them. <coughs> it's a combi can. A little pouch here for all your accessories. The only thing I do not like is these tips. The spring and the seal wears out really quick. Don't know why. This one's lasted the longest so far. Which has not been a long time yet. But we're working on it. I think this one's brand new. Yeah. So this one's a 540 XP rear handle, which I really like. It feels really good. Um, yeah, it's brand hammer new. I just first want to put gas in it. So, yeah, this will be interesting. Just pump the old thing there. Let's uh, see what she'll do. Look, guys, 
guys, that thing's peppy. Um, yeah, that second cup, once it got kind of itself together, um, it's impressive. Lightweight saw, too. I like it a lot. So moving on to the second time. I'm pretty familiar with these before. This is pretty much an updated version of the Puff 540. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Allergies, man. This is pretty much just an upgraded version of the 540 XP2. Um, there's a few different little changes here and there, um, but mostly the, the, it's the same same saw. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on here. We'll give her one more try. Just, I don't want to give up. So let's go over here and do a quick recap on what we've done. So, impressions. The little rear handle is a beast. Um, it's a bad little dude. Um, even though I think it's exactly the same as far as options or, or power output as the 540 top handle gas saw um, it seems to be a little bit more torque now um, the power apps I'm still on the fence um, I feel like there's probably more there so this is the power axe power axe there um, I like it I think that's potential. I wish I had it just a little longer because I'd like to touch the chain up and, and give it a fair shake. Um, if I had some kind of mobility issues or maybe a little older to where I couldn't, you know, my shoulders were bad or whatever, I think that'd be the ticket. Um, it seems to have lots of torque. Um, longevity on the battery, I'm not sure how long they're supposed to last in a real world scenario. I mean, you really, the only way of finding out is to do it. Um, because I've never seen things spec out and it do what it spec. But I do like it. Uh, it feels feels good. Um, balance is good. Um, but I really like that rear handle 540. It's um, it's a nice saw. 
the top handle battery saw it's a little balance is a little weird I almost wish they would have put the battery kind of midway in the saw um, to make it balance a little better it feels a little <coughs> a little awkward um, the only thing I can say that I definitely don't like is the weird push forward then down on your safeties on the battery saw um, I'm not a fan of that it's a uh, you know most your standard saws is you just grab it and then you can pull the trigger this one you actually have to push as you're pushing down you got to kind of slide up if you can see it there I know I'm losing light out here but it's just so dang hot during the day and I'm so busy so it slides up and then down not a fan um, <clears throat> You know, if you ever run a saw, why not just leave it, leave it like normal. Um, their top handle 540 is, uh, I like it, but I, I'm, I'm a gas guy, I'll be honest. I mean, you know, if you had a reason to convert over, <coughs> if you had a reason to, uh, a reason to need that battery, or mobility you know because you couldn't really pull one <clears throat> or you didn't want to pull a saw or, or you live in an area where you don't want to make a lot of noise yeah that'd be the ticket um and I, you know I, I may end up with a power axe at some point just just to have one to throw around on my buggy to when i'm riding the trails and stuff on the property <clears throat> i can uh kind of cut stuff out of the way you know that that would be that would be handy um, but anyway, so yeah, they're, uh, I like them. I would probably, uh, I would probably own one. Am I totally sold on the battery stuff? Um, <coughs> you know, I'm really not sold on it just yet, I'll be honest. As much as I want to like technology, sometimes it's just not practical just yet for whatever reason. And, and I say that with a lot of, you know, objectivity because, you know, supporting electric saws or electric equipment don't make a saw builder money. Somebody that gets performance out of a saw, um, <clears throat> at some point, I'm sure there's maybe somebody out there that could, you know, re-engineer a battery saw and give it more power and more whatever. Um, but anyway, guys, this is getting long and drawn out, but... Thanks for stopping in. Like and subscribe. I'm going to try to edit this down. So if it's kind of choppy, just bear with me. Um, I appreciate y'all coming out, visiting, and uh, help support the channel. Like and subscribe. I really appreciate it.